one and one thing that I particularly find everyone, almost everyone, in fact, not everyone, but almost everyone confusing is the observer's effect with the uncertainty principle. Now, it is something like this. The uncertainty principle and observer's effect do alag alag things in such a way that the observer's effect aapko batata hai, aapki troubles in measurement of the position or momentum maybe of a particle and us measurement ki wajah se wo particle kisi definite state mein kick ho jata hai. So, something like this, you have an electron and if you want to measure its position, you definitely shine a light on that and as the photon hits the electron, it disturbs the electron because when you didn't see it, it can be an electronic superposition of states. Mein maybe ho sakta hai. So let's say it was in a, some sort of superposition of states. Now it is kicked into a definite state and according to that you see it is found at a particular position and it is found to have some kind of uh, momentum. Now the thing is that when you didn't shine the light on the electron, then you definitely know कि लाइट को शाइन करने के बाद उसकी पोजीशन और मोमेंटम सर्टेनली डिस्टर्ब हो गई लेकिन लाइट को शाइन करने से पहले इट वाज इन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ सुपरपोजिशन सो इट इज वेरी मच रिलेटेड टू रादर द कोलैप्स ऑफ द वेव फंक्शन जिसे हम लोग कहते हैं दैट इफ इट इज इन अ सुपरपोजिशन ऑफ स्टेट्स और इफ इट इज बेसिकली एज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज अ प्रोबेबिलिटी वेव और मेबी अ मैटर वेव उसे वेव करने के बाद वेव फंक्शन कोलैप्स हो जाता है एंड यू फाइंड इट फाइंड इट एट अ particular point may be. So, observer's effect is very much related to this because collapse of the wave function occurs upon measurement as well as you see that the observer's effect also talks about the measurement of the position or momentum. Uncertainty principle on the other hand talks in the particular case that when there is no measurement involved. So, it is something like this ki uncertainty principle may have no measurement nahi kiya hai. And you basically find that particle is superposition of states. Mein. So it is in a superposition such states. And just superposition of states, mein hai, iske according is aap definitely dekh sakte ho, it can have various values of position and momentum. Now, it can pass kai sari values ho sakte ho, of position and momentum. And according to how the superposition has been formed, it, it can have varying probabilities for each value of position and momentum. So, here is kind of distribution of this position values and momentum values. How is it distributed if you look statistically dekhte along a curve? So, this uncertainty is talking about here. And Heisenberg's uncertainty principle deals with that sort of uncertainty on, of this distribution of the values of position and momentum. So, here is no measurement involved. नहीं होता है लेकिन सिंस यहां पे कई सारे पोजीशंस एंड कई सारे मोमेंटम्स इन्वॉल्व हैं तो इस पोजीशन एंड मोमेंटम की डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की जो वैल्यूज हैं यहां पे उससे रिलेटेड हमारी अनसर्टेनिटी सो टू कॉल व्हिच इज नथिंग बट द स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इन द पोजीशन और मोमेंटम इन द हाइजेनबर्ग अनसर्टेनिटी प्रिंसिपल इन्वॉल्वड होते हैं ऑब्जर्वर्स इफेक्ट डायरेक्टली गोस ऑन टू टेल यू कि मेजरमेंट Basically, web function ko collapse karta hai and is pure superposition of states mein se ye se ek single state pe paya jata hai. It is found at a single state and in that particular state aap observe karte ho ki ek particular point out of all the possible values of momentum and position aapko milta hai. And is measurement se pehle maybe jitni bhi values thi un sari values ko aapne disturb kar diya. So, one thing that very commonly people confuse between the two of them that is the observer's effect and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So observer's effect is still classically explained kiya ja sakte. Heisenberg's uncertainty principle on the other hand is a completely quantum effect and it in fact this is the one of the basic principles upon which all of the quantum physics rests. So that is one basic difference between the two kinds of principles or effect that you must understand in order to truly understand the meanings of or the interpretations of quantum mechanics. That was all for today's video of mine and thanks to all viewers.